Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna show you how to do this in Design Space. How to make this little photo prop, um, bobble wand, I don't know what you wanna call it, but it's so cute. It On one side, it's the apple, and then on the other side, it's the poisoned apple, but it's my Snow White prop. I think these are so cute uh, for parties, for the birthday person, um, the birthday girl would be so stinking cute. Birthday boy, like a Pokemon kind of theme. Uh, gender reveal. I don't know. They're just like so stinking cute. So anyway, if you want to make this specific one though, um, the file is from Etsy. It's from Kaojo? K-A-O-J-O. -O. Um, it's the dripping poison apple. Not only did I use that for the poison apple here, I also did a tumbler, so it, I really like this file. It was really cute. It's one of the few where, I think because I don't really like the way the poison apple looks, um, I like the fingers and this one looks, but I don't know. I feel like some of the other poisoned apple, I, mean, I don't know, I didn't love them. So, <laughs> all right, let's go into design space. It is super simple. What you want to do is figure out the size of your bobble. The bobble that I use, which is um, linked in Amazon down below, um, is it's 80 millimeters, I believe, which translates to about three inches. So it's a little bit bigger than three inches. I wanna say it's like 3.18 or something like that. Um, but so what I did was I used the circles, or I used three inches, and then basically made everything fit to size. So, um, the apple, so I'll show you. <laughs> it might be easier to just show you. Okay, so this apple is, um, let's see, where is the, oh no, don't tell me. Oh, here we go, image info. Here's the apple. It's M3D36272. I know, I'm gonna leave it there for a second so you can see it. But basically, here's the apple. The apple comes with three parts. So if you're gonna use this design, we're gonna to add to canvas. And one, because I already have the three inch circle, which let me show you how to do that just in case. So you go to shapes and click the circle. And I'm just gonna change this to three inches, knowing that it's gonna fit inside my bobble, right? So here is my measurement tool. On this one, what I wanna do is, I wanna have an offset. So if you look at this, I have the apple so that it's all one piece because with three pieces it's kind of hard to glue it to the wooden dowel and all that but when it's one piece with an offset it's much easier now I don't want the offset to take up um, to overshadow the actual piece I want it to be just minimal I want it to just basically um, so that it turns my three pieces into one piece so when I go to offset I'm gonna go and actually type in 0.05 and then let's hit up, let's tab so that we can see. So 0.05 is great because it's all one piece. So I'm gonna apply and I did do that in gold. So I'll just change that to gold. And then I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm just gonna group it together because I want to resize this. And when I resize it, I want everything to be resized the same. So. Here's my little apple. I wonder how big, oh, I made, so I made my apple a little bit bigger. As long as it fits in the circle, then you know it's gonna fit in the, in the bobble. So here's my apple. My poison apple, same thing. You just wanna make sure that you have it the right size. And then I added the bow. So this bow is actually a Snow White bowl bow <laughs> bowl um so when i go to my images i'm gonna type in snow this is another file that i just got from etsy so here's my file i'm gonna add to canvas and i want to show you how to just leave the bow behind so let's move this make it a little bit smaller now here's my snow white i'm gonna get rid of the eyes the gold buckle the white I want the red. I'm gonna get rid of the face and the black. Now all I have left is the red. So here, what you can do is you can go to contour. 
and we can hide all. All I want is this, this, and this. I don't want this piece. So here's my bow. Now, same thing with the bow. We're gonna want an offset because we don't want three pieces. The bow, if you can see, is sitting on the outside on top of the bobble. So what you wanna do with that is you wanna get an offset. Same thing, I'm gonna do 0.05 and perfect. 0.05 gives me one piece, I'm gonna apply. And I'm also gonna change that, that was also in gold. Okay, so I've got my bow here. What I wanna do is, oops, let me undo that for a second. Let's group this together, because same thing, when I resize this, I want the bow to be resized as well as the offset. So I'm gonna use my circle as my measurement, like make sure that everything fits within this circle. So now that I have it on top, if you wanna make it bigger, you can. I would do something maybe like that. Then what you wanna do is, because the bobble, because you can see here's my, the bow is on both sides. So what I wanna do is I want to make a copy of this bow. So there's the copy. But this time, I want to flip it horizontally because it's going to go in the back. It's going to be the mirror image so that it's one nice bow on both sides. It's just going to be mirror imaged. Right? Is that how you would use that? <laughs> All right. So that is it. I feel like this can be any theme. What you want to make sure is the first thing I would do is make my three inch circle because then you know what your sizing is. Everything has to fit inside that inside that three inch circle. And then anything that I put on the outside, I wanna make sure that it is size appropriate and I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use my three inch circle as my point of reference. And then everything else um, will look great once you do it. So that is pretty much the whole thing is so easy, right? And look how cute that is. And then you can add whatever little things that you want in the inside. It makes noise. Everyone loves it. It's so stinking cute. All right, see you guys next time. Comments and questions, please post them below. In the description is the um, link to the Amazon shop for the bobbles, the hot kind of like tool thing to melt through the bobble. <laughs> um, and some glitter card stock that I use that, that's available on Amazon. So all of that is available. I will see you guys next time. Bye.